Hello and welcome to a new episode of the series called Let's Brunch, a series dedicated to savory recipes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make three simple and tasteful appetizers by using puff pastry. The ingredients that I'm using in this video are listed below the video. I've got a nice sheet of puff pastry that I rolled out and cut into squares. Top each square with a slice of tomato, one slice of spiced salami, and some shredded mozzarella. If you've never purchased puff pastry before, you can usually find it in the freezer section at your supermarket near the frozen pie crust. All you want to do is thaw in the refrigerator overnight and then you can just use your rolling pin to roll it out into any shape you want. Finish it with a pinch of ground black pepper. Grab more puff pastry from the refrigerator using a knife, cut it into squares and place them on a baking pan. One tip for you, make sure that the dough is nice and cold. It would make it easier to handle it. Here I'm using some Italian ingredients. I'm gonna start with shredded mozzarella. Prosciutto crudo. And here a little bit about this very popular Italian ingredients. Prosciutto di Parma and Parmigiano or Parmesan. Those ingredients are made in the same city called Parma. Hence, Parmigiano and Prosciutto di Parma. Asparagus. and grated parmesan. Sprinkle some black pepper. Use a pastry brush to brush the corners with a little bit of egg wash. Egg wash is really just an egg that's been beaten with one tablespoon or two of water to thin it out and it helps to give your puff pastry a nice golden color. Bring the two opposite corners of the dough over the filling. The egg wash will help to seal it. If you are new to the channel, welcome! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos to come. Here is the final appetizer. Place shredded white cedar cheese on top of the puff pastry. Add some baked bacon. I live in Canada, so my choice is for maple smoked bacon for some extra flavor, but feel free to use your favorite one. Add some cedar cheese and seal the corners. Brush the tops with the remaining yolk mixture. Sprinkle some black pepper or your favorite spices on top.
top with more cheddar cheese for one with bacon. Then into the oven they go at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes or until golden and beautiful. And there you have it, prosciutto with asparagus and parmesan cheese, bacon and cedar cheese, and mozzarella and salami piccante or spice salami if you like. And here you have it, easy to make, delicious and ready to enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and also what your favorite feeling will be. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.